Oh, y'all yeah, surprised because I ain't got the LA chick on my side, the passenger to LA whip. It's all good, I got love for my LA chicks. But I'm down what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um today is not gonna really be a video on anything about racing or installing any mods or anything like that i just want to tune in because i know it's been a while since i made a video and i got a bunch of new subscribers i didn't want y'all to think i'm just neglecting and ignoring the channel um i've actually been investing a lot of money into the car and you're gonna be seeing that in upcoming videos so i figured i'd give you a little preview so i uh i was online searching for some more parts for my car and i came across these wheels and i was like i, I just i can't turn these up the deal was too good um i'm a dog back there in the background um the deal was so good so i drove down south like a uh a five hour round trip picked them up the same day uh let me give you a closer look at them all right so guys i got the full drag set up and as you know when the full whenever you get a full drag set up the fronts are going to be super super skinny so these are only five inches wide and they are 18s you have to get 18s on these challengers well if you have the six piston brimbos because you cannot clear these brimbos with anything smaller than 18 so you got to get 18s uh the ideal the ideal number is 18 by 5 you can't beat it i, I got a wrap with the mickey thompson's these things are brand new look at the tread on them guy said he took it to the track maybe two times so so yeah so plenty of life still left on these uh, the only thing that i don't like is for the fact that he replaced the center caps i bought these off of a hellcat he replaced the center caps with hellcat center caps they do match the car but i'm gonna pull those off i gotta contact uh uh ray start and get some more center caps as for the rear i have not put the rear on yet and i'll explain to you why here in just a second so yeah, so that's the setup for the front. Um, here's the rear. Now these are 305-45 17s. That's right, 17s for the rear. So I'm going from stock 20s down to 17s. And the reason for that is you're gonna have a lot more sidewalls. So you'll have much, much better traction getting off the line because it's so hard to launch these cars off the line. So to have all this sidewall is just, it's, it's perfect. The tires that I ended up getting were the ET Street SS's. And the reason that these aren't on is because since they are 17s and they are so wide, with these being 10 and a halves, you have to buy um, um, end links. And I'll make a video all about that later, so I'm not even gonna go into detail about it. So yeah, so that's about it. I just wanted to give you guys a preview of what's going on. Um, let me show you the difference in size. So right now, these are 275s. And these 275s alone, that's the size that the, um, the cars come with. These 275s alone, me just upgrading from all season to these summer tires, drop my zero to 60 down from a 5.0 to a 4.5. So yeah, that's five tenths of a second. So that was massive. And I didn't even go wider. So I had these same tires and a wider setup. Now, I, I, I gotta admit, the, the 4.5 was on the drag strip, but still, it's a 4.5. So I'm hoping that these 305s with that same setup could get me down, I don't know, maybe a 4.3. And there's no telling what these 305s can get me. So if you wanna keep up and you wanna see these videos and you wanna see what kind of times a full drag setup can get you, you know what to do, hit that button, like, and subscribe. And a hint at some other mods that I got coming, my warranty on this car ended this month hint hint so you know what that means stay tuned guys